Jesus is a creative God. Hey guys, this is Joel from Shattered Studios. We're going to be talking about God <laughs> as a creative and looking at the first day of creation and the method that he used, his viewpoint of it, and how that can apply to our lives and anything that we create. By following this method, by following this almost step-by-step -step outline, it can help you take any thought take it through a process of refinement and then complete it in a way that you know is good. So how is that going to happen? And how does God view his creation? Those are questions we can ask ourselves as we read. So I'm going to be reading in Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. So let me just jump right into that, guys. Okay, so it says here, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So the first thing that's happened here is God, he made the heavens and the earth. He said, look, I'm going to create something awesome, something beautiful. And the heavens, looking pretty good. Not much about them at the moment, but the earth, though, was that shape and void. It's almost like when you get an idea for a creative thing, uh, whether it be a business or an art project, whatever it may be, and it just, it's there, but it's not laid out. There's, it, it's still in that voidless, shapeless thing. It's like, you, 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 you like have it. You have the idea, you have the beginning, but it doesn't have the shape that you're desiring yet. So, what does he do? Well, it says, Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Did you guys catch that? Well, what did God do? So he had this formless, shapeless earth. And the first thing he did was, hey, let's establish some order to my creation. So we're going to have light, we're going to have dark, and the light is good. He doesn't say that the darkness was necessarily good, but he says the light is good. So when you're creating something... Let's look at that for a second here. You want to have an order to it. Um, you want to be able to sift out from that voidless shape. You have this idea, but then it's without void. And you want to take that thing that's voidless, or that's void, <laughs> whatever the right word is for that, sorry guys, uh, and you want to give it order. You want to give it shape. So that's what God does here. By having light and darkness, he begins that process of defining what this planet, what this creation is. And the same with you. And what is, what, what is God's viewpoint about creating the heavens and the earth, about creating light and darkness, whatever it is? He says, he says it was good. He saw, he saw the light and it was good. So his mindset was, this is awesome. I'm glad that I made this. So as creatives, what can we learn from this? Well, as I just broke down, one, you get this idea, this vision for something amazing. All right. Then you take the time to put order into it. You put order to it, just as there's light and there's dark, there's an order to that. Then, the last thing that you do is, simply enough, you just delight in what you created. It's that easy. You just say, wow, I've created something, now I can just enjoy it. Um, this process for God took seven days. Some debate if that took thousands of years. Um, that's not what this video is about. What this video is about, essentially, is looking at the God's creative method and saying, Wow, if that's how he creates and that's how he views his creation, how can I view my creation? And God loves you. He delights in you. He creates you. He forms you. He fashions you. He makes you the person you need to be if you allow him to be. But even if you don't, he still made the core structure of who you are. And he wants to continue to grow you. So what do we do with our art? Well, it's the same thing. We create it because we love it. We don't just create it out of obligation. You can love your art. You can delight in it. You can enjoy it. But to enjoy it, to properly know if it's if it's good or bad in this majorly subjective earth is looking at the order to it. For myself, I do a lot of book writing. So when I write a book, I always do an outline. My outlining process is taking something that's a shapeless thought and putting shape to it. And then, when it's done, delighting in that and then beginning the actual hard work of actually writing out the story. So. Hopefully you guys find that helpful as you guys look at how God creates, how that can apply to you guys. And as well, um, we have content coming out every week 
Um, and we would love it if you guys would subscribe. We'd love it if you guys could share and like our videos. The more that we can grow, the more we can reach, the higher budgets and the more outreach that we can get um, for those who we want to touch. So we hope that you are surviving in this crazy season. And as you think about what you can create, just remember that God created you because he loves you. And you can create something because you love it. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening, and I will see you later.